Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we're talking about real user monitoring versus synthetic experience monitoring. Which one is better? Watch this video to discover what these terms mean, how they stack against each other, their benefits, drawbacks, and more, based on our experience at Jelvix. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. So subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. What is synthetic monitoring and how does it work? Synthetic monitoring is the process of deploying scripts that simulate the end user's journey through a web application. Synthetic monitoring doesn't need real user engagement, which makes it instrumental in the detection of performance issues even before they reach the end user. Now let's delve deeper into real user monitoring and learn how it works. It relies on background services to monitor the system for responsiveness, functionality, and availability. It also records and analyzes every transaction that a website or application's user makes. Each page has JavaScript code that reports how long it takes to load data for each request. Let's now review the advantages of synthetic monitoring. First, it provides end-user point of view. Synthetic monitoring analyzes a system's efficiency, as well as user satisfaction. You can identify and resolve issues before they get to your end users. Next pros is benchmarking and baselining. It allows you to keep track of performance at any frequency and in any location. This information is used to identify areas of improvement and establishes strategies to address them. You can use a waterfall chart to display the findings. And finally, it helps you monitor complex transactions and processes. STM enables you to simulate business processes and user transactions from different locations. To test performance, it can simulate searching, adding things to the cart, logging in, checking out, and so on. This way, you'll have the information you need to create performance improvement programs. Time to look into the disadvantages of synthetic monitoring. First, it's too predictable. STM testing does not track real user sessions because they are generated in controlled and predictable conditions. Therefore, they do not reflect what real people are going through at any particular time. Next, it provides limited tools. This may depend on your manufacturer of choice, but you may have to write separate test scripts for each monitor you want to use. And the final drawback concerns the cost. It varies by manufacturer, but some monitoring technologies can cost as little as $25,000. From our experience at Jelvix, we advise finding a vendor that works for you to meet your needs. Which synthetic monitoring tools have you used? And what was your experience? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's move on to the advantages of real user monitoring. It puts users first. Real user monitoring helps you understand page visits and load times, site page construction speed, and users' browser and platform performance, which is vital if you are looking to improve the overall user experience. Next, it captures everything. As each user navigates your site, all data is recorded. As such, it provides performance metrics regardless of which page users visit. You may like our guide on AWS monitoring, Find the link in the description box and check it out. And finally, RUM determines issues at page and network level. From our experience at Jelvix, problems at the lowest layers of a website or app can be incredibly tough to go through and resolve, as they are often irregular or merely unusual. However, RUM can bring these flaws to light and replay user sessions. However, there are certain disadvantages of real user monitoring. First, it requires traffic. RUM is important in pre-production environments. However, there isn't much traffic at this stage, so getting relevant information is challenging. The next drawback is that RUM lacks benchmarking capabilities. Since RUM is random and relies solely on user traffic, it's hard to indicate persistent issues across the board. Also, it curates too much data. The large volumes of data RUM generates can be challenging. Even though you get a more accurate diagnosis of the end user experience, responding to specific concerns may be time consuming. 
So now to the big question, which one wins? Rum data is derived from real user traffic. It gives you a clearer picture of your user's feelings, allowing you to correct performance faults. Yet, when there is no real user traffic coming through your site or application, STM ensures that your site's properties and significant user interactions are operating as required. Why not combine the two? By using the data from these two monitoring systems, you delve deeper into specific concerns and address flaws while providing complete visibility. Do you think that one is superior to the other? And why is that? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. We'd like to know your opinion. Also, share which topics we need to cover next in our videos. The Jelvix team prepared this video. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Please find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations, so make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.